Hello and welcome to this week's video roundup. I'm Michael Marshall and I'm going to take you through my favourite science videos from the past week. First off, we find out if the saying, once bitten twice shy, applies to bumblebees. When bumblebees collect nectar from flowers, they're often attacked by crab spiders, camouflaged inside. Researchers wanted to see if they could learn to avoid them, so they set up a meadow of artificial flowers. Some of the flowers were free of predators, whereas others were equipped with a robotic spider that would trap a bee and then graciously release it. The researchers found that the bees did become more cautious after their brush with death. They slowed down and even became paranoid, often avoiding flowers that didn't actually contain a trap. Next, we take a look at a new system that will allow farmed fish to go with the flow. Sandrine Kirstemont tells us more. With these new cages, even farmed fish will be able to travel the ocean. They were created by researchers at MIT by attaching two huge propellers to spherical cages 19 meters wide. The new fish homes could become an alternative to conventional cages which are anchored in one place. Large amounts of fish feces can become trapped under cages and damage the seafloor and marine life nearby. Since the swimming cages are designed to drift with water currents, they never sit in one place long enough to cause harm. And if they float too far off course, they can take control by powering up their own propellers. A small boat tethered above carries a diesel generator to power the motors. The researchers recently tested a prototype in Puerto Rico and found that it was easy to maneuver. The cage was able to propel itself at a steady rate of 0.3 meters per second. Finally, we look at a new robot that literally has a spring in its step. This robot may only have one leg, but the leg has more in common with your legs than existing robots. The leg is made up of a knee joint and cables that can be moved with a motor in the robot's body. As it hops, two springs made of fiberglass store and release energy, just like muscles and tendons do in human legs. Once the researchers have perfected the mechanism, they plan to build a two-legged robot. It should be able to move more efficiently than other walking robots, which only use motors to control the motion of joints. Studies have shown that the springy action of human legs recycles 40% of the energy we expend. Software currently tries to give motors similar bounce, but they generally aren't fast or powerful enough to do the trick. That's all for now, but if you just can't get enough, there are loads more videos and stories on our website. For example, take a sneak peek at the bizarre sex lives of some animals, or help out a curious reader who's wondering why this turtle has a hump on its back. See you next time.